Previously on my moving adventure in LA. In February 2020, I went apartment hunting alone and it was quite the adventure, but I found my perfect apartment. Then I moved in, which was filled with fiasco after fiasco, which leads us to part three, my apartment makeover. That was unfortunately cut short by the sudden onset of Miss Rona, which banished me back to Canada for the rest of the year. Yes, my rent money has been going down the drain ever since. Along with my mental stability, love. So the following footage you'll see in this video is a zealous Jennifer back in February 2020, just really excited to make over her apartment. I went shopping and thrifting for decor and started planning for the apartment. Obviously this is not like a full flow apartment makeover. I totally was prepared to do that, but then I had to flee back to Canada and I, I just like couldn't go back to LA ever since. This video might be all over the place, but I feel like it's just fun to look back on this footage from when times were more hygienic. Let's get started, loves. Hello guys, welcome to the new apartment. As you can tell, it's very echoey in here. I'm very excited to do this apartment makeover. I've never done something like this before. So yeah, this is the current state of the apartment. It's very big, almost like overwhelmingly big, which sounds like I'm complaining about a first world problem, which I totally am. So it's gonna be an interesting process to like put furniture in and like design the whole place, but I think it'll be a fun time. I've been living here for the past like four or five days and honestly, it's been pretty lonely and scary, especially at night because it's like completely empty. So I'm hoping that like adding some warm fuzzy things like a rug and couch and whatever will change that. So all the furniture I really have in here right now is this single love seat. And I don't even have a lover, so it's a loan seat. <laughs> we got ourselves a comedian over here, guys. Anyway, so what I love about this apartment is that it is modern feeling. We have like the light wood floors and the bright walls. However, the walls are the slight light gray color and I wanted initially to paint them white, but I'm too scared to ask my landlord to paint the walls. So we can, we can give a round of applause to social anxiety for me not being able to have my dream apartment. <laughs> Okay, so here's my vision for the apartment so far. For this area, the living area, I'm planning on actually bringing in a big sectional couch, something modern looking, probably white or beige. And then I'm planning on putting like a big shaggy rug underneath, a classic coffee table, either wooden or white, a TV, and then a TV console underneath. Also either wooden or white modern looking. Since I'm a newborn adult, I, I feel like I could phrase that better. Since I'm in the fetus stages of being a real adult, I actually don't have any idea what a living room is supposed to consist of. So I feel like we'll just run into some problems and be like, we gotta deal with this problem and then handle it then. This is basically procrastination at its finest. That's the living area. And then behind me, I'm planning on doing the dining area. I want to put like a big rectangular, preferably a wooden dining table in and then have like a bunch of chairs around. I don't really know how many chairs I'm going to need because it's just me right now. Honestly, I have no idea what else is supposed to go in the dining room. So we'll also figure that out as we go. Those are the two areas that I've kind of planned out in my head. Last but not least, well, actually it is least because how do I put this? I have no freaking idea what I'm gonna do with this area. It's kind of just, I mean, obviously it's empty right now, but in my brain it's also empty. Like I don't have a plan for it. Since this is like an open layout, there's no structure. And so I don't really know what I can add to this place. Some options are an office space, so I can put like a desk in, a chair. <laughs> Clearly my idea of an office is just a desk and a chair. Or I can make it like, uh, I could turn it into like a filming background. It could also be like a, like a DIY craft studio space. So here's the game plan. The first step is to measure the space to make sure that the furniture pieces I'm gonna bring in will fit. Here's the other thing though. I don't have measuring tape or rulers or anything like that. Actually, wait. I do, I have like, I have a measuring thing for when I like sew and stuff. 
It's gonna be a challenge because it's like one of those flimsy ones, but we'll make it work. Mr. Kate is quaking because she's scared for me. I'm like popping and popping right now. Just over measuring a wall. This is hard work. This is the only embracing I will do with something and it's not even a live human. Window is 240. 220. I should be writing this all down. Here, here. Cool. This right now is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put circus music over this. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Penny will always be fit though, because that's like cardio. You know when people post like gym content on IG stories and it's like. That's this. 245 up until here. 25 plus 130. The table should be like two meters. Two meters or under. Probably like two meters, right? And then couch. Okay, I think I have all the measurements I need. I think. I wanted to try this. I want to compare this to how accurate the iPhone measuring app is. Do you think anybody's entertained right now? I thought this was B-roll. No, well, because I talk so much. Five nineteen centimeters. Oh, that's pretty accurate. But I measured five, like, approximated five meters. So I think the app is pretty accurate if you guys ever want to use it. Okay. All right, and the second step is to actually go furniture shopping. I got a burp. Ew, that was a wet one. Wet one. So the plan is I want to go to thrift stores first to see what I can find and then go to actual furniture stores to kind of like fill in the rest because you never know what you're gonna find at thrift stores. Sometimes they actually do have really, really cool stuff. And I figure if I find stuff that's kind of beat up, I can always, you know, DIY it, refurbish it. Plus I'll be saving a ton of money, which is always a good thing. Frugal Asian living. Let's go outside into nature. I was gonna say something really stupid, but then. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Let's room room on over. Or skirt skirt right on over. Let's skirt on over to the thrift store. Would be really cool. She said boho. She said I want it to be boho. Okay, I, I need to tell you guys a story time about this freaking chair, okay? To tell you how attached and obsessed with this chair I was, spoiler alert, I did not buy this chair when I went to the thrift store this time. I actually went back the next day and he was gone. I was so excited about this chair and I was so sad and like emo and just like obsessed that I friggin... <laughs> Let me, let me show you. This says chair song. I wrote a song about this chair because I was so sad. You know what it is? It's because I've never been through like a human breakup. So I just like get attached to inanimate objects. Let me just play this for you, okay? Maybe it's better if I never Anyway, that's the chair story. 
Happy Thanksgiving. I do need like mugs. This one's nice. Oh, wait, this one's nice too. Wait, this one's nice too. Ooh, these two are cute. This is footage of Jen struggling what she wants to do. I just don't know what kind of theme I want to go for because my apartment is like modern vibes, but I really like rat and stuff, so it's like boho vibes. It's cute and it's $10. I really want to get this. I just want to get like all the baskets. Oh my god, guys, come sit down. So that last night episode of The Actual, right? For example, George. This is cool. It's like lifting a little bit. I just don't know where I would put this. Mm. Okay, at this point, that's not even boho or modern. It's like kind of boho. That's it's homey. Like modern turned boho because it's like lived in. Sure. Oh, I have point. like a Pinterest mood board, but it's all like modern boho. I can do modern and boho, I, I think. think. But the only issue right now is because my apartment is gray. So it's like kind of forcing me into the gray direction. I really want to do gold because I don't like gray. I think I can make it work with gold. All right, I'm gonna go check out. Let's go. Okay, wait, which do I want? I just bought it a week, and if it's under twenty dollars, Jesse says I have to get it. Yeah. <gasps> no. How much? It's nineteen ninety nine. Get it? You have to. Oh, it's like kind of weird. It's like kind of roughed up. Though. No, no, no. Look at this. Look Is at it this. really? I can't get it. I can't get it. I don't have any like gaming stuff. I just play Tetris on my phone. One ninety nine. Oh, is there something wrong? Team mom. No, I'm not even a team anymore. Something so funny yesterday. Who? Who? What? Leggings. I'm gonna go. You got it? Who? Leggings. New merch idea coming yeah. soon. There's no seat. I said room, room. <laughs> So my requirements for a couch are I want a sectional, so like kind of an L shape. And then I also don't want the couch to be too deep because it's kind of annoying. Like obviously it's really comfortable to lie down and stuff, but I don't want to be always lying down. I want to be able to work on the couch and it be comfortable. Looking at rugs and they're all 40% off right now, which I feel like is really good. But I don't know what size to get right now because I don't have the couch. I'm thinking about this one because it's like really fuzzy. Soft. The only thing is like it's really deep so it'd be hard to vacuum. This is so soft. Oh my gosh. I could like lie on this. I mean I would consider this. It's just I know it would shed so much. I'm at a different place now. I realized that West Elm is super freaking expensive because look at this is 180 and at West Elm it would have been like 400. So, the baskets! Wait, these are nice. I think I have a basket obsession. I kind of want to get one. Ooh! Ooh! Nice! Wait, this one is nice. Wait, ooh! That's nice. Boho, Boho Modern. 
Okay, can everyone roast her in the comments? Cause boho modern isn't a thing. No, but this is the boho. This is the modern. That's just boho. Ooh. Ooh, it is comfortable. Yeah, guys, what do you think? I really like the couch. It was like really affordable price, but it only comes in that gray color, and I want something like brighter white. So I'm not gonna get it. But like, I really, I. I just have to stop thinking about it. Also looked at some dining tables. Nothing was a great fit, so I think we're gonna move on to the next store. I'm so tired. Good night. Here's my vision, okay? Lying on this, TV's right there, watching The Bachelor. Doesn't that sound like the dream? Speaking of dreams. <laughs> Is anybody still watching this video? Moving on. Oh, this is a lot. This is a lot. I have all, all of my shots that I'm getting of you just zooming in. Oh, this is a TV console. It's so nice. I think this is like boho. So because I'm an indecisive lump of coal, I could not decide on a couch that day and I actually went back another day to stand there staring at these couches for like five hours and I bought a couch for more money than I care to admit because I have not sat on the couch a single time and I just get to look at it through like FaceTime calls and pictures that my roommate sent me. I did end up subletting my place to my roommate thankfully a couple months ago. Here is the footage from the movers moving the couch in. So the sofa was the first and last piece of furniture that I bought for the apartment before I left. It was delivered when I was already gone. So, <laughs> The first thing when I get back to LA is I'm sitting on that couch and just staying there for five days. With all that being said, let's do some satisfying before and afters of the apartment makeover, shall we? This is what the apartment is looking like, you know, it's, it's an apartment that I am, that, that exists. My roommate just sent me these videos and I'm like, I feel like I'm in 90 Day Fiance because it's like, I've barely met it, you know? Like, I'm in a long-term relationship with it, but I lived in it for two weeks. I'm in a very, very fortunate position to be able to pay rent on this apartment. I've been getting a lot of comments about like, you should have done this, you should have done this. And yes, looking back, I could have gone back and just like canceled my lease and put my stuff in storage or sold my stuff. But at the end of the day, what's done is already done. And I did what I felt was safest and best for me. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but hindsight is 2020. And what a perfect way to encapsulate 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this move-in series that was just very like odd. I hope you guys had as much fun reminiscing the non-mask days, but please wear your mask now. Come along this journey with me. I mean, the journey is over. This is part three and the last part. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out of the week is right here. I feel like this is I, ending this video is so weird because I'm like, it's not like an actual apartment makeover and like, it just feels wrong. That is pretty much it. I will see you guys next time. Bye!